Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. Now we have studied carbon, we have studied hydrocarbons, we have studied the IUPAC name, so many compounds formed by carbons. Let's study some chemical properties of carbon. Okay. So carbon goes for combustion, oxidation, addition reaction and substitution reaction. We'll explain these one by one. So carbon has four chemical properties. I'll take the first combustion. Combustion, you take any carbon, you take any carbon, you take any carbon, any form, it burns in oxygen to give carbon dioxide. And that's what the test of carbon is, right? You, it, you burn and it gives carbon dioxide, heat and light. That is the, uh, I, I showed you the test of the carbon and that's the first chemical property. You take any carbon, you burn in oxygen, it gives carbon dioxide, heat and light. And the process of burning carbon compound in air to give carbon dioxide, water, heat and light is called combustion. So combustion is nothing but a process of burning carbon in presence of air to give carbon dioxide, water, heat and light and that's called combustion. So the formula is like this, you have carbon in presence of oxygen from air. It gives CO2, heat and light. And this is what has got combustion. Correct? You take more, more example, you have this methane. Methane you burn in oxygen, you get carbon dioxide, water, heat and light. These are all examples of combustion. This you can take. You have this ethanol, right? This is the alcohol ethanol. You burn in presence of oxygen, you get carbon dioxide, heat and water. This is also an example of combustion. And that is the reason why carbon and compounds are used as fuel, right? Because they burn in air to produce a lot of heat and energy. If you see in the car, you use uh, petrol and all, they all carbon compounds. The reason why, because they burn in air to produce a lot of heat and energy. And these can be used as a fuel to run any machine. Correct. Now, when I'm talking about uh, combustion, I should talk about blue flames and black, black smokes. So in the gas, you see blue flames. Why? Because if, if you have a saturated hydrocarbon, right, and you burn in air, ample air, please note, you burn in ample air, it gives a blue flame. That means the, in this case, everything is burned properly. The percentage of carbon in the saturated hydrocarbon is low, right, because if you see saturated is CH4 example, right? So they have four hydrogen and one carbon. And or you can see like you did this example, C2H6 or you and you have C2H2, right? This is my saturated and this is my unsaturated. So in this case, carbon concentration is less because there are eight molecules, six per hydrogen, two per carbon. In this case, four molecule, two is carbon, two is hydrogen. So in this, the carbon concentration is, percentage of carbon is less and thus it, it gets oxidized completely in presence of ample oxygen. So if you have sufficient oxygen, it gets oxidized completely. And if complete oxidation happens, then blue flames you get, right? This happens in complete oxidation, complete burn. So in this case, if my if I limit the supply of air, so if I uh, remove the oxygen, right? Then in this case, in this case also for my saturated hydrocarbon also, you will get a yellow flame and black flame. You will see when you burn the same the same thing. You sometimes you must be seeing the yellow flames comes. And then you say, okay, my my gas has issues, and then you ask the uh, person to the gas guy to visit to your place and clean the gas stoves and thus uh, the gas works fine, right? So that is the case where uh, from somewhere this guy is not getting proper air, right? And thus the oxidation doesn't happen properly and that case the fuel uh, is wasted also. And thus you get yellow should be flame and black smoke. So if this is happening, that means, and if this is happening with a saturated hydrocarbon, that means the supply of air is not proper, correct? For example, if you see the kerosene or uh, the gas stove which you have in house, they have an inlet for air. You must have seen, uh, you would take a kerosene thing or the gas thing also, you'll see that they, there's uh, enough space for air to come and this is to make sure that you get enough air 
for uh, this saturated hydrocarbon to burn to get clean blue flame. If you get clean blue flame, your retails are also not spoiled. Else it will get a black color layer. Correct. If you use unsaturated hydrocarbon in pure oxygen only, please note, only in pure oxygen, that is not in basis of air, you have to supply pure oxygen, then only it will burn with blue flame. Else, if you have unsaturated hydrocarbon and if you are burning in the normal air, it gets, for example, wood is unsaturated, it gives this yellow flame and this smoke. If you see the candle also, right, it is yellow. Why? Because they are unsaturated. See, the mantra is very simple. To get blue flame, complete oxidation will happen, right? So, you have two options. You have saturated and you have unsaturated. I'll write here, unsaturated here. If it is saturated, if it is saturated, it has low carbon. Correct? You see low carbon. If it has low carbon, even air is okay to give blue flame. If it is unsaturated, if you want to get a blue flame, then you have to pass pure oxygen. You have to specially pass pure oxygen. Right? Then you will get blue flame. If you are talking about yellow flame, you want yellow flame, then also you have two options. Saturated and unsaturated. Correct? Unsaturated guy, you burn in air, normal air, you get yellow flame, right? Because unsaturated, your carbon uh, is less, sorry, carbon is more, and in normal air, the carbon is not able to burn properly, you'll get air, yellow color. If you have saturated with low carbon, if you burn in normal air, it'll give blue. So to get yellow, you have to give uh, a condition where you have limit air supply, limited air. So if you have limited air, you will get yellow. So the concept is clear. For blue flame, you have uh, complete oxidation. For this, you have incomplete oxidation, right? So for complete oxidation, if you have less percentage of carbon that is saturated, you burn with air, you get arms, you get ox uh, blue flame. But if you have a unsaturated thing, and then you want to get a blue flame, then you need to pass pure oxygen, so that complete oxidation should happen. If you want a yellow flame now, then also you have two options, saturated or unsaturated. For saturated, if you want to get a yellow flame, then you have to burn with the limited air so that you get less oxygen. So less oxygen, that means oxidation will not happen properly. And for unsaturated, even with more oxygen, with the normal oxygen, you get yellow flame. Correct? So we'll have some activity for blue and black flame. So we have this Bunsen burner in the lab. You adjust the air hole uh, at the base of the burner. And then you see that different types of smoke and flames comes. If you put that block, the hole completely, you see that yellow colored uh, shooty flame comes with the, spray, uh, with the smoke because in that case, the limited air supply is happening. And when you remove that, uh, your hand from that hole and uh, the limited supply of, air, I mean, the proper supply of air is there. Now in that case, you see that you get a blue flame, right? So that, that, that's a experiment you have, activity you can do. Uh, the next property is called oxidation. Oxidation is nothing but a controlled combustion. In combustion, we completely burn it. In this, we don't burn it completely, right? Oxidation is controlled combustion. In uh, combustion, we burn completely. In oxidation, we don't burn completely. So during combustion, if you see, the organic compounds break completely to form CO2, water and heat, a lot of heat. This is combustion. But during oxidation, my organic combined, uh, compound combines with oxygen to form a new compound. Please note, here new compound is formed and very less heat is produced. Because it is controlled combustion. Oxidation is controlled combustion. Mm -hmm. We don't break the compound completely to form carbon dioxide, water and uh, heat, but we have a controlled combustion and it creates, gives us a new compound with some heat. Correct? Example, alcohol is compared to carboxylic acid using oxidation process. For example, this is my alcohol, this is my ethanol, right? And if you see this guy, I got CH3COH, right? And this is my acid. 
is my acid. So this was my alcohol, this is my carboxylacid, this I got using oxidation. Correct. So where you have controlled uh, combustion. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.